Oh my god, I froze my balls off last night. It was so freaking cold. There's snow outside. Well, it didn't snow, but you know, we're up in the mountains at Lolo Pass. How'd you sleep last night, bro? Uh, I woke up quite a few times because my hands and toes were absolutely frozen. Frozen, right? Yeah. And you have the thicker sleeping bag. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, good morning from uh, Idaho. We're making some tea right now. We're trying to uh, defrost our balls. <laughs> taking this the whole way but I don't know for some reason we didn't oh I think because we stopped by uh, your friend's place with the stoves yes yeah. yeah is that it I forget I don't know but I think also to like fuel up so uh, highway 12 highly recommend it um, we're just, uh, I don't know about 20 minutes a while uh, 20 minutes or so away from a hot springs you know, got all these amazing hot springs books and uh, might as well take advantage of them. So. <laughs> also, we haven't showered in like three days, so this will also serve as our dirty hippie pool. So feel free to uh, share your thoughts on that in the comments. And otherwise, we're just gonna, I think, hang out, relax today a little bit, just enjoy ourselves and uh, just catch lots of edits. Yo, I got a question. Yeah? Now, this is a very important question I, I feel like new friends should ask each other. Okay. Do you believe in Sasquatches? Man, uh, I haven't, uh, but I did have a friend in college who was like a diehard squatcher and would go searching for them in the woods. Did he find anything? Uh, no, he hasn't. Uh, hasn't to this day. I also haven't talked to him in a while, so maybe he did find Sasquatch. <laughs> uh, he, he's an East Coast hunter, though. He, he's, uh, he searches in the, the Northeast, so, yeah. you know, maybe there's one out here for all I know. Who knows? So, I know we're in the backwoods, and there's been a couple people who have told me they have seen Sasquatches. Um, you know, I don't, I don't really know. If you guys saw the first videos when I picked up uh, Dan the Adventure Bus over in Philadelphia-ish area, and then drove it across and we picked up Larry the Hitchhiker, well... Larry was quite a uh, character, and Larry used to be a truck driver and claimed that he had seen a Sasquatch. I don't know. Do you guys believe in a Sasquatch? Comment below. Breakfast of Champions. I think uh, Eminem made a song about leftover spaghetti. We had some, um, some of that happy tea. We also had some Danny blend. I don't know. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. Yeah. It's super beautiful here. It's so beautiful. And we are doing this in a regular old school bus. So if anybody wants to, you don't have to have a pimped out bus like either one of us had. Just get the, just get the bus, throw some Beds are cushioned down, a mattress, and you have yourself a home. <laughs> you know, it's really just the uh, amenities that uh, you can add to it, like power and all that fun stuff. But, I mean, we don't, you, you don't have to pay for a you know, motel room in a big old vehicle like this, so, yeah, it's cool. All right, this is going to be home for about 24 hours. This is just a uh, national park side of the road. You'll see in a little bit uh, the trail over to the hot springs. We just installed a... You know, like a lock mechanism thing on here. So, just got that side on here, that one on there. Nothing too fancy, but just for now, that's what we're gonna do. Look at that. So, step one, cross the uh, river. Um, I was actually thinking this morning and last night, I feel most at home on the road inside of a school bus now. How about you, Michael? Yeah, totally. Yeah. I'm like, I feel like a new sense of energy. <laughs> um, while I was in between buses, I, I just, uh, yeah, I've been doing this for so long now that, you know, this is me. <laughs> this is, this is normal. Um, 
you guys have probably heard that it takes about 90 days to create a habit. So this has been a long standing habit for the past couple years. So it's good to be back. Um, yeah. And we are in the, a beautiful place like this out in nature, about to uh, enjoy mother nature's hot tub. So we just crossed here and the directions were a little ambiguous and there's a sign missing over there. And there's a, a thing that says hikers this way. We don't actually know if we're going the right way. Oh crap, I have the book in the, the bus. It tells us how to get here. Oh really, it has like directions and everything? Yeah. Or uh, Where's the sense of adventure? Wait, we have a GPS on the, the map too, offline. By the way, offline map on Google, uh, you press the tab, tab, tab on the left hand side next to search, and then go into uh, offline maps, customizable map, you drag and drop, pinch it to an area that you will not have cell service to, and you can download the entire map. So I have one, and we'll just look it up. All right, so we're turning around because we don't really know which way we're going. <laughs> the offline map wasn't super helpful. It's helpful for driving directions, but once you're on foot, you kind of got to wing it. So there's also two people who don't know. Something about hot springs that, I don't know, there's like this localism kind of stuff. And so I said, why don't we take the path that the sign got ripped off of? Because that's usually a sign of like, that's where the money is. <laughs> hot springs, that way. Yeah, that way, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> he's messing up my B-roll. I'm trying to like film some stuff and he like stops and you know what he's doing. He'll get the hang of it. Well, I, thought, I thought you were, uh, I thought you were like filming and like, you know, actually telling him something, not just, you know, getting the whole <laughs> B-roll thing. But look at this river. Oh, look at this river. Whoa, what? How amazing it is. Uh, yeah, 10 stars, five stars. Looks good to me. back out and it's half full. So two strikes on that one, one for not finishing it and two for littering. So I see uh, water with steam rising out of it. A good indication for hot springs is uh, this uh, algae. <sighs> wow, what a cool little spot. And I believe there are multiple pools. So obviously if there are people in them, the chance they're naked because we're out in the middle of nowhere. So we'll be filming that. Look what we found. I don't think it's a hot one though. You wanna touch the water? Yeah. No? I mean, it's kind of warm. But kind it's of warm? Not. So the main one's up there. We got a naked hippie in the hot spring though. So we're not gonna obviously show that, but uh, that seems to be the main attraction. So, you know, good space for like six people or so, max. How was it? It was amazing. Scale one to 10. 11. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you too, nice to meet you. Maybe we'll see you over at the uh, forest fire station. <laughs> see you, man. So here we have the uh, hot spring. Uh, what was your name, by the way? Mark. I'm Jax and Michael. Cool. See ya. So here is the uh, hot spring set up. A nice little meadow off to our side. River is down there, about 100 yards or so. It's absolutely amazing. Although I do feel a little bit lightheaded because we've been in it for at least two hours and I feel <laughs> sunburnt. How... Yeah, at least two hours. My but... gosh. Dude, it's... It's just so perfect it is it's just right next to a river open meadow <laughs> yeah not commercial there's no cement at this uh, hot spring yeah yeah uh, so we're gonna have a little sandwich 
and uh, do some work slash take a nap, which could be considered work. <laughs> Head back for uh, evening dip session. So share your epiphany with us, Michael. My epiphany, my epiphany is that after sitting in a hot spring for two hours, it puts you in a sober place, which makes you realize that as much fun as it is to be online like Jax is here on YouTube and me working on social media and my platforms, sitting in that hot tub just puts you in a place of remembering why you're on the road and why we like to share things with people like you guys. And I don't know, it just, it kind of takes you out of that society mentality of you need to build, build, build and grow, grow, grow and do, do, do and just kind of step back and enjoy this. That's I mean, right. That's right. All you got to do is live, live, and live, and visit beautiful places like this. <laughs> oh, what a, a great afternoon. I, I just want to say thank you to uh, the country of France for inventing brie cheese. Both Michael and I had an amazing brie cheese sandwich. Highly recommend that too. Woo. What an amazing day. This is, days like this make me really feel like I'm living life. And, uh, there's just something special, something that you can't duplicate or replicate or put online about being here in person. So I highly suggest you guys get outside, go take that, you know, forest walk, that, uh, you know, jump through the meadows, you know, a little walk in the desert, whatever, whatever's close to you. Uh, just nothing better than uh, all this nature. This is why I'm skinny. <laughs> you know what time it is? Hot springs time. <laughs> I was actually wanting to know the actual real time, but I'm gonna guess and say it's like hmm, six o'clock. Most of the people who have uh, arrived here on a Sunday have left. And uh, looks like the power hour of uh, showing up to the springs here is like three o'clock on a Sunday. Um, we're just gonna go on a little nature hike crossing this beautiful river once more. Probably just go that way, but just past the springs and come uh, circle back. We've got our knives with us, flashlights with us, and a sense of, sense of adventure with us. So we're just gonna continue to enjoy this magical place here called uh, Idaho. I think so. All right, we're back. We spotted some wildlife. This cute little fuzzy, furry thing right there. Can you, you can see. Can you zoom in enough? I'm partially zoomed in. It's like right there. I just want to pet him. Um, we should do what everyone says not to do and get closer. Yeah. So I think it's a marmot. I'm not really too positive. I don't know if marmots attack. We will find out as the closer we get. Hey, buddy. Isn't it cute? Look at that thing just hanging out. It's completely camouflaged with the rocks behind him. Hey, you hot springing? Looks maybe like an old timer. It's been around a little bit. I don't know if these things get defensive. Hopefully it will not charge at me. But wow, look at that. Look at how close I am to the marmot. Oh, look, he's going in the rocks. I don't know if he's got a little home down there. But he is officially, hi! <laughs> you sure are cute. You know that? He looks like a furry, giant hamster. Dude, he lives under a hot spring. This guy's got like prime real that. estate. He's living under, hi, uh, yeah, you wanna show us your coat? This guy's got prime real estate right here under the hot spring, and he is not shy whatsoever. You see him back end, he's yeah, back. yeah, look he's at him now. He's underground hot springing. Yeah, I don't know if he's uh, protecting his home or if he's just putting on a show for us, but yeah, what's up, buddy? If anybody knows about the marmots, you uh, feel free to comment. I don't. I'll probably be looking up a little details after this. That's usually what happens. I can't really predict I'm going to see something and then speak intelligently about it. <laughs> I just know it's super cute and it's fuzzy and I want to take him home. Since we're here, might as well show you the hot spring. This is what, uh, what we came here for. Uh, you can park up to 14 days on the in the parking lot, uh, just right out there. <laughs> we read the sign that says uh, after that you have to move five miles. So, you know, in the summertime this could be a pretty chill spot to uh, hang around at. But uh, yeah, little 
source of the uh, water comes from in there and uh, it's a nice little pool it is a little algae rich inside there but uh, you know I'd say about a hundred degrees or something like that not the hottest hot tub hot spring I've ever been in but you know it's pretty great I think our marmot friend completely agrees he's uh, running across a meadow right here we just had another dip in the hot spring we're heading out but there was sh somebody shooting uh, guns off in the distance. So all of us, we had some nice people out here at the springs. We're trying to make it back in one piece. We don't think it's malicious, but it certainly freaked us out. So, um, I don't know, let's cross oh, our fingers. I hope we make it. Oh, yeah, dude, I think so. <laughs> all right, good news guys, made it alive. The yellow jacket saved the day. Um, no, it was just some guy with his family and I guess he saw like some deer or bear or something. Who knows really? But uh, yeah, we're gonna call it a day. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.